back in the kitchen with best-selling author Marlene Cook, who has a healthier alternative to one of your favorite decadent restaurant dishes, and I do mean decadent. Welcome back, Marlene Cook. <laughs> well, thank you. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm so excited to have you. Now, this is right up Cam's alley. I just have to tell you, Cameron has been raving about this the whole time. I was first at the counter. I was seeing it earlier. <laughs> yeah, he might in. clean Orly and Larissa's plate, just yes. to be clear. So you guys, start digging in. Okay. So your cookbooks have sold over 1.5 million copies. Mm -hmm. Woo! Crazy, and right? and your you. your latest in the series, Eat What You Love, is all about restaurant favorites. Exactly. So you're taste you're taking all these restaurant favorites that have thousands of calories and really reducing them quite a bit. Right. So everyone loves my restaurant makeovers, and so this is I mean what what can cheesy bacon chicken? I mean this is from a famous steakhouse, and here's the thing. These meals have, on an average, over 1,500 calories, whether you're Mexican, Italian, the steakhouse. Sure. So this reduces them, and we're not talking small numbers. When you see the numbers, it's phenomenal how many right. calories you can save. Sugar, fat, and calories. That is very true. So it starts with the mushrooms right. that we brown over here, right? Exactly. So what you start for this dish is you start with mushrooms and you just brown them like this. Now, if you're okay. doing it at home, what you can do is then move those out and use the same pan because it's weeknight friendly, super easy. Perfect. So, okay. But what we've done is we've done those for the savings of time. And then you put your chicken and you season it with just a little salt and pepper before okay. you put it in the pan, right? Is and these are oil in there, or what are they? You know, with? once you've done, you put use two teaspoons of butter for this to give some flavor, okay. and then that's going to be good to go because when you take them out, you're good Thank to you. go. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put your chicken in here, and you get it. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That's Gorgeously beautiful. brown. And this is a pound of chicken for four people. So it's a quarter pound of chicken per person because what I found, I've been a dietitian for almost 30 years. You get other healthy cookbooks. You know what they do? They give you a tiny little portion. And then you never feel <laughs> right? satiated. Yeah. And you think, yeah. this has 35 grams of protein. Wow. Okay? Ooh, that's so perfect. once you turn those, what you do is you're going to take your mushrooms and you're going to put mushrooms on each of them just like the rest. So these are not breaded. No. Okay. And they're not breaded at the restaurant. So this steakhouse is from Australia, and I took my mother to get to there, and she got this Alice Spring chicken. First of all, I didn't think she got as many mushrooms as I give, which I <laughs> love. <laughs> and the dressing was so cloying, I didn't really even enjoy it for that 300 calories. Oh. And then once you have the chicken and the mushrooms, which okay. is beautiful, excuse my hands, I just washed them, we're going to put cheese, cheddar cheese over every Piece. Oh my goodness. You can't this go is wrong. the mm -mm. cheesy part, right? right? And then bacon. Okay. This is pre cooked bacon. And what I love about this is two teaspoons goes a really long way. You get the salty and the sweet with the sauce. It's really delicious. And then this is the secret it's water. Now, you can use for other dishes, you could use broth, you could use wine. But if you brown chicken at home and you put a little liquid in like that right. and cover it, not only is the cheese going to melt, that liquid is going to mm. steam through and you will never Beautiful. have dry chicken. Nice. That is a great oh, tip. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That so yeah, while that chicken cooks over there, we're going to make the actual dressing. Yes. That, that the is, honey mustard drizzle. It is delicious. So over the top. Right. right? So this, I'm starting with just a little bit of light mayonnaise. Okay. Now, light mayonnaise has only 35 calories a tablespoon. Oh. And we're putting all these other flavors in it. So the fact it's light, you don't notice the calories you're saving. Right. But regular is 100 a tablespoon. This is 35. Oil is 140. Huge savings. Wow. And then you just put Can in equal parts. Yeah, why don't you there grab you that for we'll me? That Perfect. Perfect. Mustard Let's get is together. Really so this good. is this is hot mustard, honey it's mustard? It's just regular Dijon. Okay. All of these ingredients are in your cupboard. And then we're going to add a little bit of honey, equal parts. And then for that tang, that sweet, sour taste we love, just a touch of vinegar. All right. This is easy. Now, when you go to the restaurant, I just looked at this this morning, 310 calories for the dressing on the side. 310. Oh. For me, that's almost like half a meal. Oh my this God. is only 50 calories wow. a serving, and oh you gosh. can literally put this onto everything. Anything. You can put that on salad. Or give it to your kids with the chicken nuggets. That's Oh, what a great idea. I didn't even think of that. Or the French fries. So when you go oh, to the yeah. restaurant, mm. it's 750 calories for just the chicken. Guess what it is when you add the fries? I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, now it's, yeah, now it's 1,200. Really? And when you had the key lime cheesecake little pie cup. But it's so small. It's tiny. There's so many. No, but I have the same I'm thing. Happy with I have the same thing in my book, right? Yeah. So theirs is 570. Mine's 155. 
Wow. When Whoa. you do the oh, combo of the three, they're at 1,500 and I'm at five. Oh. They're at 50 points, I'm at 15. And if you have diabetes or are watching your carbs, right. you're looking at three meals oh, worth. No. Like wow. my dot, my stepdaughter has diabetes. She can eat all this. She can't go this there and fantastic. eat all that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, well and done. it is delicious. Well so done. now look our that chicken, chicken is all beautiful. It's in So infused. look at that. I mean, is that not oh, gorgeous already? I can't already? wait to taste Real this. time, everybody. Mm -hmm. I know. That oh, let me put this here so it doesn't gorgeous. burn. gorgeous. Hang on, there you go. Yeah, and this, this is what you're going to get off your stovetop for the melting. Let and then what you do is you just take one of these. And look at the size. Oh, this it. is not, this is a big hungry man portion. Ooh. I love it when people tell me my hungry, healthy, hating hungry husband loves your food. Mm -hmm. And we then pour that on? we're just going to drizzle. Oh, it's glorious. Beautiful. Really I'm super impressed. And then we just throw those green onions on top. <gasps> And now we have a meal that we have literally took 75% of the fat out. We've taken more than half the calories mm. out. And, if and none of the flavor, though. None of the flavor. And this is gluten-free. So what I also want people to know with the book, I just believe everyone should have the foods they love. So if you're gluten-free, half the recipe is already gluten-free. The other half, one recipe, one ingredient change, and it's in the book, and it tells you you can have it because it'll wow. be gluten-free. It's all about wow. the swap-outs. That's genius. It's genius. all about yeah. the swap-outs. Well, well done, Very Debbie. Good. Make sure it's not too hot. I know it came right off the stove. Oh, and she mm. loves it. <laughs> All right, a lot of flavor in there. That dressing. Out of 30 calories or whatever it is. Wow. Yeah, delicious. My goodness, oh, You'll it. find this recipe at hallmarkchannel.com. Be sure to pick up a copy of Marlene's book as well. That mm. is available now. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you. That dressing is phenomenal.